I have seen many declare that the GPU crisis is over, but can you just go buy a GPU at MSRP? In watching the GPU prices over the last month, I've seen some disturbing trends. Will those trends hold up for the next gen GPU prices? Let's get into it. In my last video, I talked about what AMD and Nvidia would do in the near term to keep prices higher, and one of those strategies was to refresh the GPU lineup. Case in point was AMD's refresh of the RDNA 2 GPUs. For the past several weeks, the RX 6900 XT has been available 24-7 for the MSRP price of $999. You could just go to AMD's website and order one, just like you can order a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. However, now that the 6950 XT has launched for $1099, the base 6900 has been removed from the store. Likewise, the RX 6700 XT at $479 has been generally available in their weekly drops. However, now that the 6750 has launched at $549, the base 6700 has been removed from the store. So AMD's strategy to get you to pay more is to refresh the GPUs with factory overclocked versions for more money. And now that they've removed the previous versions, you don't get the choice to not pay for the factory overclock. The average transaction price just went up. Also, at the high end, to make the decision even easier, AMD removed the 6800 and 6800 XT from the AMD store. So if you want AMD's version of a high-end GPU above a 70 series card, the price now starts at $1099. Now I've been watching the GPU prices for the last month, and I have seen a disturbing trend that people are not talking about. I have seen many reports on the GPU deals where you could get a GPU for MSRP, or even slightly under MSRP, and that is more true than ever for AMD GPUs. But what about NVIDIA GPUs? 3dcenter.org released their latest update for GPU prices in Germany, and they showed AMD cards are now only 7% above MSRP, and NVIDIA cards are now only 14% above MSRP. To see how that compares to prices in the US, let's go to Newegg's website and search through the GPUs, and you'll see what I mean. Let's start with the good news first. Looking at AMD's GPUs, the RX 6600 has 5 GPUs that are within $20 of MSRP. The 6600 XT has 3 GPUs within $20 of MSRP, and so does the new 6650 XT. Please note that not all have free shipping. The 6700 XT has 3 GPUs within $20 of MSRP, and the new 6750 has only 2 GPUs at MSRP. The pricing on the 6800 is still messed up and is at least 31% above MSRP, and it's a similar story for the 6800 XT. The 6900 XT can be had for $50 under MSRP and several examples at MSRP. Finally, the 6950 XT is listed at MSRP pricing, however, it's not widely available yet. So other than the 6800 series, you can get a Radeon GPU for at or around MSRP. Now for the disturbing part, let's look at the NVIDIA GPUs. Starting with the RTX 3050 that has an MSRP of $249, the cheapest GPU is $329, and the occasional sale brings it down to $299, still $50 to $80 more expensive than MSRP. The 3060 is currently at least $100 or 30% higher than MSRP, the 3060 Ti is still $190 or 47% higher than MSRP. The 3070 is at least 32% higher than MSRP. And the 3070 Ti is 25% over MSRP. Now the RTX 3080 with 10 gigabytes of VRAM is scarce, but is still 24% over MSRP, while the 3080 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM is at $1,000. The 3080 Ti has one GPU at MSRP and several within $100 of MSRP. And the 3090 is at least 13% higher than MSRP, while the 3090 Ti is available at MSRP. So while 3D Center is showing NVIDIA GPUs only 14% above MSRP, I am not seeing that on anything below a 3080 Ti. And I found the same story when looking at Micro Center. And that is what I find disturbing. The NVIDIA GPUs are still commanding a much higher price for everything under $1,000, even though AMD GPUs have several examples of GPUs near MSRP. If I step back and look at the prices on NVIDIA GPUs, I see the following. The 3050 going for $329. The 3060 at $429. The 3070 at $659. The 3080 at $899. And the 3080 Ti at $1199. 
and I don't know if anyone else sees a pattern here, but it starts to look like what next generation pricing will settle in at for these series of GPUs. So I can see where Nvidia would set the MSRP of the cards to be higher than this gen such that a 4050 would be 299, a 4060 would be 399, a 4070 would be 599, a 4080 would be 799, and a 4080 Ti 1199. However, your AIB partner models would run 30 to $80 higher. So the 4050 would be firmly in the $300 range. The 4060 would be in the $400 range. The 4070 in the $600 range. The 4080 in the $800 range. And the 4080 Ti in the $1200 price range. Now I'm sure some of you are thinking, won't AMD GPUs provide the pricing competition to drive prices down? Let's consider that. By the way, if you like videos like this, like, share, subscribe. And as a side note, does it bother anyone else that AMD creates renders of a GPU like the 6650 XT and then does not make it available for purchase? Let me know in the comments below if you would like that two fan design for a small PC build. AMD GPUs have been readily available since last summer and the prices were priced up to match their RTX counterparts. That was possible since the Nvidia GPUs were just not in stock. So you either paid the Nvidia GPU-like prices for the AMD card or you waited. Now that Nvidia GPUs are readily available, the AMD GPUs are not able to price as high. For AMD to provide pricing competition, AMD GPUs would need to be considered on an equal basis as Nvidia GPUs but they haven't earned that level of mindshare yet. So many people are willing to pay more for the Nvidia GPUs versus the AMD GPU. And with the recent refresh, you see AMD raising the MSRP of their GPUs. The singular purpose of this refresh was to reset the base MSRP to a higher level. That way they can gently raise the MSRP in two steps over time rather than one big step in RDNA 3. What bothers me about this release is that AMD did not provide you with more shaders. They did not provide you with more memory. They just overclocked what they had to give you a little more performance that you have to pay for. For me, this refresh is not for gamers, but against gamers. And AMD knows this as well, and it was demonstrated in AMD's behavior. Let me explain. AMD just released its most powerful GPU in its history in the 6950 XT, and they are so proud of that card. Do you know how many GPUs that AMD sampled to reviewers? Zero. You will not find one reviewer who has sampled an AMD reference card in the RX 6950 XT. Does that make any sense? If you just released the most powerful GPU you ever made, would you not want to make sure the world knew about it and sent it out even just a dozen samples to reviewers? And where were all the AMD executives talking about how great this GPU is for gamers? Maybe that's because, deep down, they know how much of a lousy deal this really is for gamers when they tacked on the price increase. I've said it before in my videos, AMD is not interested in pricing competition. Can you even remember the last time AMD released a GPU and forced Nvidia to cut prices? Please leave a comment below if you have a good example. They are only interested in having Nvidia set the pricing structure and then they will slot into that pricing structure and the price increase of this refresh is a clear demonstration of that strategy. As AMD and Nvidia get set to launch their next generation of GPUs later this year, it is becoming more apparent that we are on a path to another generational price increase. And what I find the most disturbing is how hard it will hit the entry level gamers who buy the 50 and 60 series of GPUs. I'll continue to watch these trends and let you know of any updates as we get closer to the launch of next generation of GPUs. Now over the last month, I have been stuck resolving some hardware issues in many of my builds, but with those finally resolved, I'll be showing the results of those builds with the benchmarks in upcoming videos. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.